بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم لیڈیز اینڈ جنرمن ویلکم بیک ٹو آر سیریز آف کے اسٹڈیز آن لیڈرشپ ایتھکس آن ایتھیکل بیہیویئر اینڈ چیلنجز آف ایتھیکل لیونگ لیڈیز اینڈ جنرمن ڈیفینیٹلی ان دس ٹوینٹی فرسٹ سینچری وے دیر از کٹ تھروٹ کمپٹیشن وے دیر از لاٹ آف مٹیریلزم ویئر کیپٹلزم از ایٹ دی ویری سرج آف ہیومینٹی اینڈ ویئر وی سی دیٹ کمپنیز اینڈ انڈیویجولس آر striving to optimize performance and profits at any cost that is where the attitude the behavior the value system the ethical frameworks and the contextualization of good governance come into play now many a times we think that maybe it is not possible to follow in real life the standards of ethical behavior or of governance of good governance of corporate governance and therefore it is necessary to compromise to make shortcuts to try and do things with the maximization of revenue or of performance and in the process compromise on traditions on customs on norms and especially on the value system and on principles well ladies and gentlemen this is not necessary we've been talking about different individuals we've been talking about different institutions and today one of them that we're going to talk about is the management and professional development department now ladies and gentlemen this particular department is responsible for training and development and it has its own institute which is called the management professional development institute and the case study that we're going to be actually studying is of that particular institute the standalone institute the autonomous institute which has been able to set new standards of excellence new standards of performance new standards of ensuring that it is a world class institution now this particular institution uh, ladies and gentlemen is based in lahore and the founder of this institution and this department is uh, the very honorable uh, zuhur lak sheikh saab who unfortunately passed away and he gave his life to the establishment of this particular institute and ensured that a high quality training institute would emerge uh, within the domains uh, of lahore and would be coordinating with the different stakeholders and ensure that it would be imparting the best possible quality education so zurul haq sheikh saab is a role model himself and this role model was the driver behind this particular institution and zurul haq sheikh saab was a epitome of behavioral leadership of ethical leadership and would practice through his actions the different aspects of good governance the different aspects of value based leadership and as a result would ensure that there is good governance and corporate governance so this institution started from scratch and from there it slowly slowly started progressing but unfortunately zurul haq sheikh saab passed away and everyone thought that this institution would wither away however what we see is is that then after zurul haq sheikh saab uh, the honorable safta javed sayed took over and then at the helm of affairs he continued with the policies with the frameworks and uh, with the uh, different innovative approaches of zurul haq sheikh saab and therefore consolidated this particular institution the institution goes to the third level when madam rashta malik arrives and she gives it a new injection of life and tends to come out with innovative and out of the box solutions and creation so uh, in the context of structure and framework rashta malik totally revolutionized the management and professional development institute and department and was able to bring in some of the best uh, some of the best human resource as employees of mpdi and also beyond that herself she would day and night be contributing towards the betterment of this particular institution so what we see is is that uh, through its three leaders zurul haq sheikh saab the founder uh, safda javed sayed saab uh, a bridge and then madam rashta malik who was able to build upon the the uh, the foundation which was set by zurul haq sheikh saab and develop the pillars upon which a new standard emerged and it is not only taught in pakistan it is taught in countries like malaysia 
it is taught in Indonesia, it is taught in Sri Lanka, it is taught in the Middle East, and it is taught in uh, Nigeria, in Kenya, in Rwanda, and uh, also in Uganda. So look at this institution, a Pakistani institution whose case study is taught in all of these countries. And we see that it has been able to make a phenomenal mark in the uh, arena of training and development and set itself out as a market leader, as a sector leader in Pakistan. So the success behind all of this can be attributed firmly to Zurulak Sheikh, to Sayyid Javed Safdar, and also to Rashta Malik, who basically all of them had the passion, had the energy, had that out-of-box approach, and the very willingness to show outstanding performance, not because people wanted it to happen, because they wanted it to happen, and they proved to the naysayers that everything is possible if worked with the right mindset and with the right destination in mind. And therefore, the Management and Professional Development Department and the Management and Professional Development Institute are both benchmarks and milestones in the arena of training, capacity building, and change management. Thank you so much.